The Tale of Tape brought to you by Dave and Buster's, the only place to eat, drink, play, and watch sports. Salter, 14 wins, none of them going to decision. Brandon Halsey, 9 and 1, but that last loss, that one on that 9 and 1, his last time in the Bellator cage. Big one might very well determine the number one contender for the middleweight world title to Michael C. Williams. Live on Spike, Bellator MMA presented by Miller Lite continues now in the middleweight division with three five-minute rounds brought to you by Gold Bond Powder Spray. And now first introducing the blue corner at six foot one weighing in 185.6 pounds. His professional record, 11 wins, three losses from Gardendale, Alabama. He fights out of Wilmington, North Carolina, presenting John. And across the cage is adversary tonight fighting out of the red corner at six foot weighing in the same 185.6. The former Bellator middleweight world champion stands near perfect as a professional. Nine victories, just one defeat. Now fighting out of Costa Mesa, California, introducing Brandon Ball Halsey. The referee in charge of the action, Mark Lawley. Brandon Halsey began his collegiate career right here on this campus at Fresno State. Body ready. Body ready. Fight. Fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. Cheers. It's Miller time. John Salter, a very high-level wrestler as well, NAIA champion. Nine years ago at Lindenwood University in St. Louis. We will be next Friday night for Dynamite 2. Oh, he's cut, he's cut bad. That head kick might have opened up a cut. Maybe his nose, can't see if it's over the eye. It is the right eye. Now Brandon Halsey showing some urgency. First significant strike is a bad one. You can't think of a moment where Halsey has been hurt because he only got that one, took that one shot from Carvalho. He hasn't had adversity, he just had the one moment. He talks about his new tools when we ask about this fight. My new striking, my new boxing. Now he kind of has to use it, not a matter if he can take his time. Can't tell how bad the cut is right now, but he does not want the doctor looking at that. Forget the physical damage, Jimmy. What does a cut like that do for both fighters psychologically? Well, if you're the guy that got cut, there's a sense of urgency. The doctor looks at it, he might stop it. There can't be a break in the action to allow the doctor to look at it. If you're Salter, it just gave him a target. He's gonna focus all his strikes on that side. And also, tactically, it's hard for him to see out of his right side. You wanna circle that way, you want for a lot of left shots. That's the power shot for the southpaw. It's a great thing for Salter. Jimmy, Jimmy told you he has never gotten the distance, and this one has the look of one that isn't going to make it the distance either, one way or the other. Now look at all that blood, and from what we can see, it's only one cut. Tells you how bad it is. It's so early in the opening seconds of the fight. <laughs> You wonder if Halsey had trouble seeing that coming. One of the many dangers. We talked about next Friday night in St. Louis and the return of Rampage. Well, later on tonight, Rampage returns. A special coming immediately following the Bantamweight World title fight here on Spike. You do not want to miss it. And this was inevitable. Yep. Not a moment Halsey wanted. Doctor. I think you are absolutely right. The power side, that right side, very hard for Halsey to see out of. Good. Let him fight. Yes, sir. All right, here's how it happened. Beautiful accuracy on that shot. Look at him just scraping the side of the head. That's how you get cut. Ready, ready, fight. 
That's the most vulnerable area for a cut. Right around that eyebrow. Nice right hook over the top. I may have heard him. He looked around there. Good right hook by Salter. Another good right hook. And a lot of success with that lead hand. And I think Halsey's hurt. I think he's rocked. And that's why he went for this opportunity to slow it down. Brandon Halsey's takedowns, 99 times out of 100, are offensive in nature. This was the defensive one. And that's why it wasn't successful. It wasn't able to set it up. Looks like a Saw remake. And when you remember that only one guy's cut, that's, that's a phenomenal amount of blood. One I guy's cut. Literally was waiting just to double check to make sure Salter wasn't cut. There was so much of Halsey's blood on him. Nice takedown. Triangle. Trying to pass, he just made it tighter. Got it. Brandon Halsey felt the urgency, and it cost him the fight. Beautiful triangle set. He tried to relieve the pressure and pass. Problem is, if you don't get that pass, his opponent doesn't break his legs. It just makes the triangle tighter. He won this fight every way you could win it. Cut him on the feet, bloodied him, accurate, and then finished it on the ground. I think we might have seen our next contender. Brandon Halsey had to roll the dice, and it came up snake eyes. This is a kick that was really the beginning of the end, the opening minute of the first round. Opened up a kick in the eye, and he couldn't see the shots coming from the power side. Salter knew it. He threw heavy kicks. What impressed me, too, is that right hook over the top. Look here, the takedown, and watch the triangle. Wrist control. Steps over it, beautiful triangle, locks it up, and watch Halsey try to pass to his right side. That just made the triangle tighter, couldn't get it. Look at it here, as soon as Halsey puts pressure on that side, you can't get your opponent to break his legs. He will finish you, that's exactly what happened. He knew it immediately, he had walked into checkmate, and a huge win for John Salter as he moved himself next in line at 185 for a world title shot. Brandon Halsey, who suffered a stunning loss in the middleweight world title fight against Rafael Carvalho in October, tastes defeat again. Let's make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of a triangle choke. Official time, four minutes, three seconds into round number one. The winner by submission, John Salter. John Salter. A stunning and visceral victory is with Jimmy Smith. I'm here with John Salter. John, not just a brawl, not just a fight, a bloodbath with a finish, exactly what you wanted. Yeah, uh, I hope we put on a good show. Strong guy, I knew I had to come out hard. Couldn't wait on him to start trying to impose his will. The division, 185, pretty much wide open. The former champ, you just finished him in the first round. What's your message to the rest of the guys at 185? Um, Halsey pretty much cleaned out the division, other than a body kick. Um, and I beat him in a round. I think I should be next. All your fights, all of them finishes. Congratulations. We'll see you again soon. John Salter, ladies and gentlemen.